How are you, Scott? Good. How are you, sir? Fancy seeing you here again. Uh, on a Monday. How many days until our parade? I believe it's six. Six days. Six days. And by the way, this is a Chicagoland Motorcycle Toys for Tots motorcycle parade. A stravaganza. That's right. Is that is that the correct stravaganza? Wording, wording? Because yes. we had a board member question that. Chicagoland Toys for Tots Motorcycle, motorcycle parade. parade. It's been that way for 44 years. But sometimes people forget they it. They want to change it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this will be our 44th year. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. Next year will be our 45th. And he Serena. did that without a calculator, by the way. I didn't even what use my fingers. <laughs> so, But hey, if anybody wants to call in, our phone number is 312-738-1060. And Gary's on the phone to screen you guys and then send you right off to us. And we should be all set up. We are all dialed in except for one thing about the uh, police, how they're going to help. I'm going to stop the all the traffic so we can get by. That's correct. Courtney helped us a lot with the uh, forest preserves. And we have David Adams with, in charge of special events with the city of Chicago, who we will we'll be meeting with on Wednesday. Nice. In a big round table. Will they have donuts? I don't know. I don't know if it's in the budget this year. Hmm. Maybe. But anyway, that'll, that'll be interesting. We'll have somebody from the uh, uh, fire department, the police department, streets and sanitation, special we events. We should bring BB1 down there and show it off. CTA. Good thing they'd be made if we parked it in the sidewalk. Mm. A lot of room. Yeah, leave the lights on. Could we do that? We could do whatever we want. Why don't you find out? That'd be hard to tow anyway. Park on. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they got a tow truck to do that. <laughs> hey, guess what I did on Thanksgiving? Let um, me think. Eat? I, uh, before that. <laughs> oh, what'd you do? We were in the parade. Yes, yes. I seen you in the parade. We I didn't see you per, per se. I did see your truck. I wonder if they if they put Let's pictures take a look at of this. us yeah. in the parade. Um, and we talked about it. I'm still, I'm still looking for pictures. Okay. I'm trying to find. But, yeah, so we were in the parade. Yes, you were. Um, you drove it rather nicely. I did, thank you. I, I was doing that, that Princess Die Wave. Yeah, yeah. Your and we had Biker Bear 1 on. Yes. Yes. I Very don't nice see man. any pictures. We'll Somebody's. Pictures. You'll go, I'm sure it's on Facebook. Slacking. But, yeah, you guys can go on Facebook and look at it under. Uh, it's coming up fast, everybody. Before you know it, you'll be seeing this guy running down Western. Wrong button. That guy. Yep. Santa Claus. Yes, he is. Yes. Who knows how many laws he's breaking right there. First Sunday of December. <laughs> no, it looks like he's got a seatbelt on. Does he? <laughs> <Yeah, no. laughs> yes, he will lead our parade along with the elves and our train. Hopefully he'll make it out here. The gentleman that we call him Train Man. I don't Charlie. even know his name. Charlie? Charlie, Charlie Tuna. Yeah. Uh, train Man. He put a uh, Santa Fe train. On top of a army yeah. chassis. Six by six frame or something. Yeah. It's pretty nice. But it's a hey, weather. They're saying um, weather for our forecast. Let's pull up right now. Hopefully it'll change. What is weather going to be on December 5th? It'll be cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 28. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Perfect riding weather. You'll so have a get reason to put on a coat. And we always have a couple of guys running without a shirt on. Yeah, they're 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 cool. Yeah, <laughs> literally cool. I never had that urge. Did you? No, uh, not not in the first Sunday. Of course, I don't. I don't have any hair on my chest. You probably oh. out. Yeah. Yeah, that's like it's like this blowing around <laughs> in my face. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a nice day. So if you guys uh, and gals, as long as it's dry, I think we'll be doing fine. Okay. Get out there and and have fun. We spend all year to get here. We had a few concerns because of what happened last year, but we are good to go this year. Yes, we already will be distancing because you're on a motorcycle. You cannot not distance on a motorcycle. Um, I just got a text from Fanoa. Most of the time, you actually will have a helmet on because it is cold. Yes. They are not mandatory by the state of Illinois, but they do keep your face uh, yes, they do. protected from the cold weather. So that's just something out there. And then you'd already have you'd have a built-in mask on. And just remember, everyone, it's very hard to put clothes on. So take everything you own on you that day. You can always take it off. Correct. Then your saddlebag or a friend's. Yes. They came out kind of funny. Anyway, let's talk about motorcycles. I have one of those. I have a couple. One runs, one doesn't. Oh, you're a show-off. Yeah. Well. Um, but my stool's bigger than yours, you know. Is that on the TV? Look. Yeah, I noticed it. I, I and noticed I, tried, I tried bringing it down to your height, but it won't, it won't go down. That's fine. I understand. So. I must be a lot heavier than you. Maybe. Maybe you had dinner. I didn't have dinner. <laughs> 
But yes, motorcycles. Um, motorcycle safety. Number one, you want to check the air in your tires, everyone. When it gets cold out, every time a temperature goes up or down 10 degrees, you add or lose one pound of air. So I bet it's going to go down Sunday, so you yes. would lose. So if you put air in your air, air in your tires when it was 80 degrees outside, and, and it's, it's going to be 30, 30, that's five pounds of air, right? Yes. So it'll be, won't be 30 anymore, it'll be 25, so you want to make sure you adjust that. That's why a lot of these newer cars with the tire pressure monitors. They go up and down with the... But it'll make the light go on, and you just tell people to drive the car, it'll warm up, and then it'll be fine. Unless you put nitrogen. Can you put nitrogen in your motorcycle tire? You certainly can. Will it float? Oh, no, that's helium. Yeah, you talk fine. No. One of our board members inhales that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ain't saying not. Um, but, yeah, so we want to check your tires. We want to make sure your headlights are clean. You're at a Burger King drive through in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want to make sure your headlights are clean, your taillights are clean. That's right. And that you have a license plate on your bike and That's it's right. not obstructed. We are not. If we see it, we are going to remove you from the parade if you do yes. not have a properly displayed license plate. Very important. We have a meeting on Wednesday, and we're going to be going through all of this, and we can take a copy of the show to tell them. And don't be throwing no candy from your bike. Yeah, either. no candy. Don't pick up no toys. If anybody says they want to stop you, if you're stopped in traffic and... Because the parade stopped moving for any reason, let people know there'll be a truck at the end. They can get their toy to, or you can bring it into the establishment that they're drinking punch in front of. Dep depending upon how many bikes, we can have up to five, maybe ten groups going through. And as Scott said, there'll be somebody at the end to designate the end point, and that's who you can give the uh, yes. toy to. Their truck should say, that's all, folks. Correct. Now, the other thing we got to talk about just a little bit, if anybody in Chicago from the mayor on down, has a problem with anybody in this parade. Every member of this parade is going to have a vest on, and they're going to have their Toys for Tots number on it. It's like a barcode if we were a toy sitting on a shelf somewhere. Yes. That's yes. how you identify us. Okay? Who the actual members are. You're being disrespected in any way, shape, or form. Give us a call. We'll take care of that issue. That's one of the deals we made with the city of Chicago to make sure all our members are properly identified. And every parade marshal, which would be board members, will have everything on them pertaining to the parade. All the permits, all the licenses, all the insurances. And if anybody challenges us, which has happened, we could show them that's why we belong here. Okay? I thought we'd get out a sword and we fight. I would love to do that, but my arm gets tired as I get older. I have to get a really light sword. There you go, one of those balloon ones. We have Or a wooden one, so I wouldn't hurt nobody. There you go. Yeah. I'll poke your eye out, kid. Um... But yes, there's going to be ways to get a hold of us. If something happens in the parade and you don't see anybody around you with a radio, um, everybody has a cell phone. Go to your cell phone and look up. If it's a non-emergency, if it's an emergency, dial 911. If it's a non-emergency, you can actually go to our website and look up all of the member board members' phone numbers. Right. Uh, everybody's numbers listed. If it's a non-emergency and you just you know took a picture of something that's happening, um, if it is an emergency, just please call 911. There'll be police officers everywhere. That's and, right. Uh, watch for the vests. If you Don't, see somebody with the vest on, they remember. Even if you think it, just go ahead. You always err on the side of being too cautious. There's yep. nothing wrong with that in this day and age. Okay. Plus, we got to look out for idiots busting into a parade. I was thinking of that. You know, it's a bad thing. They actually, when I did the parade downtown over Thanksgiving, they yeah. actually had snow plows on every intersection. Did they? To keep they that did. from happening. Oh, that's yeah. pretty smart. But yeah. I didn't see no snow. <laughs> Where? Oh, rain. for the snow plow. Oh, I got you. I understand. But they had plows on. Well, that's good. Something happened. You know, I don't know a lot of people, what happened in Wisconsin. But you can't prevent it happening the first time, but you can certainly be prepared the second time right. it happens. So that's a good thing, doing that with the plows and such. And most of our blockers that block the streets, they usually block with their car anyway. Correct. When they put so, their poster yeah. or vest on or something yep. like that. But be nice to us. We, we're going to be say hello to everybody going on in Chicago. Maybe. I'll be the one in the big blue truck waving like this, yeah. blowing the horn. Who's going to be riding the bike? Who's going to drive the truck? They got self driving trucks, huh? We oh, can't get one of those? <laughs> Are those legal in the state of Illinois? I don't know. Um, Amazon packages. Well, we, should, uh, we should expand on that anyway, get some people who can drive it. But you've been, how long have you had that truck now? Uh, three years now. Wow. Oh, and not even a parking ticket. Knock on wood. You probably just jinxed it. <laughs> Tomorrow we're, or Wednesday we're going to get a parking ticket. That'd be a big-ass boot on the tire. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, okay, so we went over motorcycle safety. Yes. Make sure um, you wear enough clothes. You can always take it off. Get decorate your bike. Chapstick, something. Your, your lips are going to get very dry. Make sure everything is secure to your bike that you put on, right. either with a pull tie or string or bungee cord. Uh, gifts. If you drop a gift while you're driving... 
don't slam on your bike to pick it up. Somebody will move it out of the way and get, it will get picked I up. I lost the glove a couple years ago. I didn't stop to go get it. Gina's not here. You don't have to bend down and yeah, get that. I know. My job, my man. So. <laughs> um, be careful. So, yes, you um, safety safety first. Make sure you're riding in groups, uh, no hot dogging. Um, and try not to put tinsel on your bike, okay? Around the wheels. Somebody tried to help me out and decorated my bike about, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And what happens in the wind, it was on, like, the handlebars. Oh. And as you're riding, I, all like of a sudden, I couldn't, I couldn't let go of the clutch and I couldn't let go of the brake because it just wrapped around. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, you know, it's kind of bad. I didn't fall down or nothing, but well, that's good. <laughs> guess who never decorated my bike? My bike that person? That. Yeah. <laughs> so but, be, be smart. Don't be stupid yeah. when it comes to decorating your vehicle. Uh, same thing with costumes. If you're wearing costumes, make sure there's nothing that's hanging that's going to get wrapped right. around in your chain or in your right. tire. Um, you know, if you're wearing something. And he um, said it's going to be like 39 degrees out, so that's something you should be concerned about, too. You can get... Uh, you know, hypothermia just in, in weather like this. You got to be prepared for it. Um, I just got a text. Gina said she heard that. What? Oh, the whole mask thing. Well, did she? So I guess that? she sees us. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, we were Saturday. We were on uh, Open Road Radio. Yes, we were. I seen that. That was actually really cool. Nice job, Gina. Yes, yes. Thank you for the look, promotion. Gina. I'm looking at the camera now. Yeah, yeah. Because he knows where to talk now. Because there's nobody. Like, <laughs> can I talk? <laughs> That was cute, though. Uh, the wife goes like, why is he raising his hand? I said, I think he had to go to the bathroom. I thought I was in school. Yeah. yeah. No, but, I'd be going like this. Man, go is that what it was? <laughs> Jumping. <laughs> um, but we do have some uh, Toys for Tots uh, chairs that maybe we can donate her since hers were broken. Yes, I was very concerned about that. I wish I was about six inches tall. It wouldn't have bothered me. Yeah, that would look cool because they have our name on them. Yeah, yeah. So get, you, get you a pair of those. Yeah, for the back. Yeah, yeah. For the yeah they have the name on them. Um, we'll have to work on that. But yes, we had a great time there. Um, boxes are out and about. We actually have a fundraiser going with McDonald's. Yes. Um, to get McDonald's on board with us. They got boxes at, I believe, six different locations throughout the city that you can drop a toy off. Walgreens yes. has, has boxes. Uh, there's a few and there's a disclaimer, we did talk to... Uh, Burger King and White Castle, they didn't want to get involved. Yeah. And we did talk to CVS and, you know what I mean? And the other place, Osco? Yes, yes. Just to let everybody know. So, we don't play. But if food. anybody else wants to get on board with us, they're more than welcome. Um, this organization has been around 44 years, everybody, and it's very cool to be a part of it. If you come yes. out and participate, that would be wonderful. Yeah, we're still looking for blockers. Um, you don't need to have a motorcycle in order to participate in this parade. There's a lot of things to do from meeting Saturday. We're doing our walkthroughs till the day of the parade on Sunday at 6 a.m. Even if you have just a few hours before work or something, which I have a couple people coming in the morning just to help with product, they're going to get there and work there a few hours and then turn around and uh, do what they have to do. We have people at the end of the parade that's, um, uh, she said she'll take our chairs. <laughs> Um, she'll take, she'll take the chairs. We have uh, people that will... Uh, you guys trouble? We're having trouble with the phones. We're trying to straighten them out. Oh, they're having phone problems uh, if you guys are trying to call. Hey, um, sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're, they're, uh, they're working diligently yes, on it. Yes, they are. We that was a, another big word I heard. Yeah, I know. I was hanging out with Sharon Allen this week, or Sharon Sinclair, so I, they're in my oh, head. I, I got to talk to her again. Yeah, she, she likes me. I could, I could keep up with her sometimes. Yeah. Not um, so, yeah, they're working on the phone, so if you guys are calling, just please be patient. Well, give me your cell phone number. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's online. They, it's online. They can everybody call. Um, Jack, Jack's probably He's being pissed. frantic. Yeah. There's another big word, yeah. frantic. No, a few people, a lot of you people in Chicago land like to hang around Western when the parade's going by and they congregate. It, it amazes me, though. The lower type of neighborhood has the most support from the people have you noticed that? the lower income neighborhoods yeah right. yeah and it's it's and they get out there just it's a parade man it's yeah. we got santa claus at the yeah, parade. Yeah, chairs out there okay you got somebody on there no okay no. the phones are working 312-738-1060 yeah. i believe it's on the bottom of the screen yes um we actually unlike other parades where they have to watch the whole parade to see santa claus yes. they get to see santa claus first and that's then right. all the awesome bikes that's afterwards right. that's right you know, and I've seen people out there with chairs and coolers and little kids. Just, oh yeah, yeah, it's they're all excited. Just make sure you got a good horn on your bike. Blow that horn yes. as you're going by. That's people right. wave, you know. And don't be surprised if we want to deputize you. If it's a, a rather 
big busy intersection to help control the traffic from coming onto Western Avenue. We got a caller. We got a caller. We got a caller. Howdy. Oh, speaking of the Jack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. It wouldn't be the same without you. How are you? Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. How are you doing, sir? Good, good. I just got off the phone with Edward Wisniewski. Oh, good. How's he doing? He's the uh, founder of this organization, as a matter of fact. He's doing all right. He could be better. But uh, I, I tried to get him to call in tonight, but he's just not physically up to it tonight. But he said he wishes us all a good time and just... Uh, his advice was be careful. Well, that's cool. That's that's very nice since he's the one that started this 44 years ago and that we're still carrying this on. And he created yeah. the route going down Western Avenue. He had just gotten out of the Marine Corps when he started this, or you know, the, the parade. And now there is not one railroad track all the way down Western. All the trains go above right. us and over us, and nothing can stop us. Right, right. And if it wasn't if for him... Clear one, if I could clear one thing up, though, some people think... There were six people on the original parade. Okay. But that's not exactly true. Okay. Uh, there were six people that sat around and planned and collected toys. But in the actual parade, there was one van, which was about half full of toys. But Amino Ed wanted to complete this first parade on a motorcycle. And his motorcycle happened to be not running that day. Which oh, I heard it was running and the, the chain fell off it. No, no, he borrowed Puppy's bike. There no. were three people. Then the chain fell off of that one. I know a chain fell off of something. Right, right, right. <laughs> but there was a fellow named Thor, Scott Glenn, yeah. and Puppy, who was Ken Borkowski. Well, and Jack, just to let you know, people come out with nicknames so nobody would know their real names. I'm just letting you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're famous, they're famous people, and their names are out there. They were very, very good people. It's a shame. So then it was only four people, Jack, that actually did the parade? No, there were three. Oh, just the three. Okay. There was Thor and Puppy were in the van, and Animal was riding Puppy's motorcycle. Okay. And about five, they went up to the Glenview Naval Air Station, and about five minutes that. from five minutes or five miles outside of that place, the chain came off a of puppy's motorcycle. Oh, is it a Cushman? Hey, what did, what did, what did Ed Animal Wisniewski, what kind of shop did he have? Well, it was a chopper place. You know, he painted and made choppers. On and, and, and he fixed bikes too, right? Street. Pardon me? <laughs> he fixed bikes too. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So now the chain came off of his bike but he he could have put it. They could have put it in the back of the van, and finished their ride. Okay. But he wanted to finish on a motorcycle, so Puppy Thor was driving. Puppy was in the passenger seat, and he and Puppy linked arms, and they towed the bike to the Glenview Naval Air. So there was no jumper cables. I heard it was jumper cables. They came right from Amazon. Oh. You sure? Animal told me. Okay. Animal told me they linked arms and they yes. told you. Yeah, that's hard, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I ain't known you that long. <laughs> so there were there were six people that started to think about it and collected toys, but there were only three. Okay, then then, then just to let everybody out there know that we're not completely wrong about this. When we came out with that tribute shirt for the original people who did the parade. There were six names on the back of that shirt, Jack. And those names were right. given to us by Aminal as those people being in the very right. first parade. And now what you're saying, whoa, 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 whoa. A parade and sitting around and talking and a parade actually doing two different things. Am I right? So we got to tear up all so those shirts. So we got to take all the shirts back. Everybody who got a shirt that first year, please send them back to us. But you know, Animal, he likes to give credit to those that were there. He's mm -hmm. not going to uh, shortchange anyone. So there were six people that originally sat around, but there were only three that actually made it on the first parade. Kind of like us when we're all out talking at a, yeah. you know, at a, a soda shop and we say who's going to be out on the first Sunday of December and half the people show up. 
Well, he only showed up to, to sit around and talk around for when he came out with his shirt 30 years later so he can get on it. That, that worked. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But thank you, Jack. So how's he doing other that? than that, Aminal? Good, good. He's, uh, he's all right. He had a little uh, medical setback this past year. But uh, he's, he's getting back to normal. He's, he's doing all right. He's happily retired? Oh, yeah. Good. Right. Very good. Right. Well, thank you for enlightening us about that. We're going to have a, maybe we'll give out a free uh, cup holder or something if they could answer that question next week when we come on the show. <laughs> All right. See All you right. guys later. Take care. Thanks, thank Jack. You. We'll see you on Friday. Yeah. Right. Right. And why on Friday? Because we're at a meeting. We'll be our last meeting before the parade. Uh, later, Jack. Okay. Bye-bye, Jack. <laughs> But uh, uh, you hopefully we'll have Doc Joe there, and he'll talk to us about what happens if you see somebody get into an accident, whether you should take off their helmet or not, how you wait for EMTs. Uh, he'll talk about hypothermia usually, let you know what to do in case you start getting numb in your hands and feet. He does, yes. Hopefully uh, we'll find out. I'm sure somebody will be there to explain that all to us. Okay, we have uh, anybody that wants to get involved in the parade, that's when you want to come out there. The one security firm I told you will be there on Friday. Mm -hmm. He's a very nice man. Uh, we have to r remind everybody: no alcohol, no, no drinking, no drinking no, no. in the park. Please don't make us have to find you and kick you out. Properly licensed and plated vehicles. Okay, they will be looking for that, gentlemen. Uh, and ladies, we have to enforce that along with the Chicago Police Department. They're going to be there helping us everywhere. We might even have horses there again. Which horses? Yeah, the yeah, big ones. Yeah. The big ones, not the, not the ones you put the quarters in. I saw them. They were actually downtown on Thursday. Not the ones me. you put the quarters in, like when you were a kid. Oh. The big ones. I had the big Clydesdale. The Budweiser guys were behind Did you? Me. Yeah, they were. Wow. They were think big. better behind than in front of yeah. them. Oh, those yeah. Those are new tires. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> those are new tires. <laughs> yeah, they were big animals. Well, They're thank right. you for calling, Jack. Yes. Again, get your bike ready. Get yourself ready. Get a good night's sleep. Drink water. Uh, Pick out where you want to go after the uh, parade. I don't know how long we're going to be there. We might have a stage. We might not. We're going to have a DJ, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Lenny will be there, I'm Lenny, sure. Lenny will and be who there. who we got coming on the south side? Um, I thought... What's that guy's name, Gary? The DJ for the south side. The south side DJ's name is George. George. George, George. the south side guy. He's, he's, he's really good, I heard. Yeah. Maybe he's got speakers about. and stuff. I never got back to you about the uh, electric. He's also a son of Legion. He's Norwegian? Sons of Legion. He's a member. Oh, he's a member of the club, of the Legion Club. Sons of Legion. Oh, of, of your thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very good. That's nice of huh? him. Google's listening so to us. We should, be, <laughs> we should be all set up then for this parade. We're going to be busy. We have a meeting on Friday. We have a meeting at, with the city of Chicago on Wednesday. Hopefully we dotted all our T's and crossed, excuse me, dotted all our I's and crossed all our T's and get ready. Or vice it. versa, whatever whatever we have to do to jump through the hoops. We'll, because we'll they will it. actually, we'll be sitting at a big table and they will be asking us all these questions and we have to answer them correctly. And we do not get the parade. Yeah, hello, oh, got a caller. All right. Hello, caller. Yeah. Hello. Who is this? Hi. This Is this hey, Mr. Hey, Healy? This Jack Healy, uh, Bob Healy? <laughs> No, this is no, this Nikki. Nikki? How you doing, Nikki? How can we help you? Well, listen, you still, uh, they make those little commemorative Hot Wheel motorcycles? Unfo Unfortunately, no. Um, I got a few of them. But yeah. they, they do not make those. We can't, we can't get them. There's a problem with numbers. The amount that we'd have to buy from them wouldn't justify. We couldn't sell that many. Well, there's a long story with that, but basically when we first started doing it, and Bob Coots, his credit, he's got to come up with the former president, is we had a deal with uh, Mattel, I think it was, and they would only make like 2,000 or 2,500 for us. Uh -huh. And after when, when we stopped making it, if we if we didn't buy 20,000, they wouldn't make any of them. And the organization yeah. wasn't prepared to spend that much money, to be, uh -huh. you know, be on the hook for that much, you know, basically. Yeah. Yeah, well, it would have been nice if the, uh, just thinking if the toy maker in and of itself would have did a little bit on the donating end and you could have... Oh, yeah, you, you, would, you would think, you would think. Yeah. But if anybody out there knows of a company... Yeah, definitely. You know, let us know. We'd love to do that again because the organization, we got to sit at a big table. We designed the box, the color of the bike, everything. That's when we found out that Harley-Davidson wanted a lot of money just to put their logo on, like on a motorcycle or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But well, it's a shame. It's a shame. 
It's a shame that you're not in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? But I anyway, totally uh, agree. You know, I, I love them. My grandkids, I gave them to my grandkids. and uh, You didn't and let them play with them, did you? <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you, I never took them out of the box. <laughs> okay, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> There's actually, you can, you can go online, people sell them yeah. online, yeah. and they're not... They don't want a ton of money for them, actually. No, not really. They're actually like what we they made paid uh, for. We made four of them, I think, right? Yeah, there was four different ones. And they're available online if you're looking for extra ones just to keep around. And but they would be great, why don't you? Are you a member of the organization? No, you saw, I'll tell you what. I took a hit a couple years back, and uh, well, many years ago, and I can't straddle one no more, but my heart's still in with you guys. Well, you don't have to have a motorcycle, sir. We got like a, you know 800 members, only about maybe 115 show up on a bike that day. Yeah, there's there's a ton of things you can do if you can still get around to help us that day. Tell you what, you come out and be a member, I'll put you in charge of getting another Hot Wheel. What's that, sir? Yeah, we'll put you in charge of the Hot Wheels. <laughs> well, that sounds great. I'll you can call up all these people. Get everybody jealous. You might have to lie to him. But you, have oh, to thank call, you. you have to call up Hot Wheels and say the other toy guy is going to give it to us cheaper see if they help. Yeah. You got to play that game. You got to watch that well, Trump when he fires people and you got to know how to do that. You know? Right. <laughs> but if you actually, Nick, if you actually look at the website and you'll see where all our meeting dates are and times, and if you want to volunteer, just come down to one of those meetings and yeah. you can get You have a meeting up. coming up this Friday. It ain't going to cost nothing to get in there. Just come and get, get to know us and see if you want to. Cool. Help out more than just you know calling and maybe you know do something else. It'd be kind of cool. Okay. Well, th thanks for all you guys do. I tell you, you know, everybody took the big hit with that pandemic, and uh, yep, you know, we're back to normal, and uh, you're doing a real good thing for uh, things for uh, a lot of kids. That oh yeah. Point, you'd be, you you'd know? be amazed how many kids are a member of this organization because they can remember getting a toy mm -hmm. 20, yeah. 30 years ago. So it's kind of cool to go full circle like that. Yeah. Well, but it is a tough job. I'm personally, I'm only, I'm only 38 years old, and Scott's 26. This is what this job yeah, does to you. you look like you're young man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you, Nick, and you, uh, you have a nice Christmas if we don't see you. You guys do yeah. well and stay, uh, stay healthy on them bikes, will you? Yes, thank sir. you, sir. Thank you for your phone call. Very good. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, it was nice. Huh? Well, time is flying by right Yes, now. it is. It's like um, 627. Yeah, so we only got a couple minutes back out so here. So we did. We talked about dressing we for... We get to do nine minutes over. Huh? Oh, we get to go over? We got to overtime for nine minutes. Oh, okay. nice. Wow. How about it's that? like a holiday. Good thing none of us got to go to the bathroom, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't have to. Not just. <laughs> I just <went. laughs> uh, but yes, it's so we got... We talked about the bikes. We talked about the tinsel. We talked uh, about the clothes. Got to have clothes. Being, there. being there, the woods open at 6 a.m. Properly licensed and plated and insured vehicles, okay? A question came up at the other side of the city meeting about some people are like old school. I don't think they want to get a bike, to be honest with you. They were complaining about these trikes that are in the parade now. What do you call them things? Um... Wing backs, ridge, I don't know, something like that. The, the, the trikes. The ones with the two wheels in the two front. Two in the front, one in the back, yeah. two in the back, one in the front. Who cares? And I, <laughs> yeah, the can amps. Can amps, thank you. Slingshots. Slingshots. Slingshots, that's exactly, yeah. That's and I right. told that gentleman, I says, they take up just as much of a footprint in the parade as a trike would do, Harley Davidson trike. Correct. And I says, it is a motorcycle, because you have to get a little motorcycle license plate, and you need a motorcycle license. If it was a car, it'd have to have airbags on it, seat belts, and everything else. Okay, so we got to respect that. And it has a motorcycle plate. That's right. And then I told the guys, I'm sure the first time a Suzuki was in a parade, the people said the same thing. You know, you know what I mean? So we got to move with the times here. Man, it's just. But that's good. It was a question that was asked. Hopefully, we answered it correctly. Right. But uh, yeah, so we got that. Uh, do, 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 do. So we will be leaving the woods at nine o'clock, promptly a.m. Nine thirty. At 9.30, unless there's a lot of bikes. Little at 9.11, we do the pledge, then we start staging and leave. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> and you're good. <laughs> I was testing you to see if you actually still remember it at your older age. Yes, you're right. Because it's been two years well, since we got I got my this. name on my shirt, so I put the right one on today. Yeah, that's why I put them on there. <laughs> so we know. You know. have to write it in the big letters. Yes, we write it in the big, big letters, letters so we can yeah. read it. And so, I want one backwards so I can see it in the mirror. So we say the pledge at 9.11. Yeah. We start bikes. Yes. The uh, preach, pastor, cardinal. We're going to have a... Uh, bishop. Bishop. No, somebody bigger. Who's bigger than an archbishop? Cardinal. We're going to have an archbishop. That's what I thought. Oh. Santa Claus. We're going to have an archbishop, yeah. and he's going to spray water on us. That's right. As we leave. That's right. Now, if you don't want to get that, you're going to have to hold your hand up or get the newspaper or something. But everybody's going to get blessed on the way out. Cool. 
a lot of us need it. That's right. Um, we'll be leaving there. We'll be heading north on Western Avenue. Correct. We should have plenty of porta potties out there. We have like twenty two. Not that Western Avenue. We're talking about on the at the south side right. and uh, at the north side. A lot of people. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. We didn't get our nine minutes. That's, okay. That's right. Well, then we'll see everybody Friday. Be safe. Saturday. Come on out to the meeting on Friday, and we'll talk to you. It'd yes. Be, great. be safe. See y'all. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.